a marathon weekend for U.S. Senators. It's been a long time in coming. After an all-nighter overnight Saturday, Sunday afternoon, and a 51-50 vote along party lines, the Senate passed a sweeping climate, health care, and economic bill titled the Inflation Reduction Act. We need to combat climate change. We need to lower prescription drug costs. We need to lower health care costs and help our families in this critical time. That's what this bill does. The bill allows for more than $300 billion in climate funding, including incentives for farmers and ranchers and an extension of the electric vehicle tax credit. The boldest clean energy package in American history. It allows Medicare to directly negotiate with drug companies, which can lower the cost of prescription drugs for seniors. However, Republicans cut a provision that would have capped insulin prices at $35 for Americans not on Medicare. Life-saving medicines don't do any good if people can't afford them. The legislation is paid for by requiring large companies with income more than a billion dollars to pay a minimum corporate tax rate of 15 percent. It's likely to impact several local companies like Amazon, T-Mobile and Starbucks. There's simply no reason anyone should be against these policies and many reasons to get this done now. I don't believe this new bill is going to lower inflation. That's where I'm at. Republicans are unified in opposition, including Senator Patty Murray's Republican opponent, Tiffany Smiley. In a statement, she said, Patty Murray has never met a tax hike she didn't like, and her vote to raise taxes on Washingtonians as we slide towards a recession makes no sense. The bill now heads to the U.S. House, which is likely to pass it this Friday and send it to President Biden's desk. So a lot of people wondering, why was this bill called the Inflation Reduction Act? Well, Senate Democrats say it's because $300 billion will go towards deficit reduction, which could help fight inflation over time. But a study out of the University of Pennsylvania's business school looked at the bill's 10-year budget window. And what they concluded is that the Inflation Reduction Act likely won't impact inflation at all. Back to you.